pam 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 <laughs> I know you missed that, right? Hopefully you did. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, sweet faces, I'm Kiralis and this is Hermit Craft Season 7, an episode 65, I believe. So just sit back like this, like that, relax and enjoy. And if you guys do enjoy this, make sure you leave a like on this video and hey, if you would decide to do that, you would be amazing. But uh, I would also say, thank you very, very, <laughs> very much. So sweet faces, it's been a while, but I'm back. D don't, don't worry, we are here. I love those eyes in the background as well, just looking at me. We are back in previous episode, I have acquired myself, or we did, did acquire ourselves, a hacienda. And I'm, I'm loving it. But you know what happened in between episodes? Beef, beef actually moved out. Oh, like everything is gone, I believe. Gone, 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 all empty. And this kind of leaves a lot of space for, for, for improvements, I guess. Because uh, what I thought, that we would level this place to the ground. But uh, we did have a pesky neighbor. And you know what I noticed? Is that, uh, that, that, that now we seem to have two. Because beef seems to move out every single piece of furniture into the courtyard. So I'm not sure what, what Ifo has 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 of an agreement with beef, but it is not in our favor. I can tell you that. <laughs> Hello, Iskal. Hello. Um I, I, I kinda like there's even holes in 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 the flooring. That is something I didn't see when I bought the house. Doesn't matter, because we were supposed to level this to build a runway for our airport. But yeah, that I guess that is not gonna happen because now we have two pesky neighbors in the in, in the courtyard. But anyhow, so so back 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 to that. I'm, I'm gonna try to get hold of beef later on. Let's see. What did we do in the previous episode? We did looky looky at my bookie 2.0 in a quickie town. And I love this. I love this so much. However, as being a bad YouTuber and a terrible server member, I have not really filled this with merchandise yet. So looky look at my bookie 2.0. It is not operational. It is not open for business yet. Where's my sheep at? I had a Kerala sheep. It, it is all gone. But not speaking of looky looky at my bookie, I just want to check one, one thing. Is there people still buying books? Uh, for example, I'm breaking. <laughs> Yeah, Mending, people are still buying books. And what did we do in the episode before that? We started something which is my favorite place in the city this season, and that is the marina. I love it. Like, I myself, in real life, I live in a coastal town, and I just love, like, the buzzing, the restaurants, the boats, the water. It's just... I don't know, I love the ambiance of a marina. And uh, it it looks amazing, but it's, it's not done. And sweet faces, we... What is that? Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's scars. We, we need to talk. But first, no selfies. But first, let's have a little giveaway. I love giveaways. Like, I love being able to give back uh, to the community, which kind of brought me to, to the place where I'm at today. So here we go. And north of the wall, the snow is gone and summer is in there in Sweden. And by the way, purchase of the century, the fat boy hammock. I mean, look at it. Ah, it's divine. But anyhow, we got a beautiful giveaway from ExtraFi. Quite plenty of stuff, as you can see. We got the M2 headset, the M32 Retro Edition mice. We've got the M4 Retro. I love retro. We've got t-shirts. We've got hoodies. We got the GP4 mouse pad in blue. By the way, I love that pattern. And this, I've been using this mouse for a week now. The MZ1, designed by Rocket Jump Ninja in the land down under in Australia. It is, it is a really good mouse. Like, if you haven't checked it out yet, I will post a link for that because it is amazing. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna divide the prices, uh, but I will figure that out. It's gonna be in the description. So all I can say, leave a thumbs up and love your faces. Noise. So everybody, good luck and for full disclosure, I am a part owner of ExtraFi. We need to we need to talk and, and it sounds so serious. Now, it's something which kind of makes me sad. It does break my heart, but uh, it's for the greater good. Uh, you might have seen this in other Hermits uh, videos and episodes that season seven, as we know it, is coming to an end. And um, 
I have I have so many ideas. It kind of feels like I really let you down because I've been mentioning projects left and right throughout the season and we haven't really accomplished them. Um, so to say, like we, we have a huge base. I love my base. So like we've built this together. Like all the feedback throughout the whole season you've been given. This is this is something you have created together with me. Uh, and I love this. Okay, hopefully we don't die. But I kind of feel like I'm I'm not done yet. Like, oh, I can spread my wings so fly. Come fly with me. No, no. I'm not done yet. I still want to make something in the base which kind of like when you grab the world save download, it kind of feels like a semi-unity. We need we we have we have projects. We're not done yet. Let's do like a in-season marathon, okay? So first, we need to complete the marina. Like this thing needs to become whole. I, I really owe you guys this, like I really do. You have made my season fantastic and I really owe you this, uh, I really do. Uh, we also need to get rid of, I'm not sure whose boats, oh what a beautiful face. Uh, I'm not sure whose boats that is, I believe that is Mambo's boats when he was coming into this little like uh, sp spanner base over here. Uh, so yeah, so today's episode I will devote mainly off camera because I don't really have the hard drive space to even record all of this. Uh, I will devote to this area. We will complete this. I Like a pinky promise. <laughs> do I? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. I'll, I'll, I will grind this out. So we're going to complete this part of the marina today. And I kind of, kind of, kind of promise Shashwami that I would make like an avenue with trees, park, bushes, somewhere about. And... Um, I want to I wanna like connect this beautiful building because I love the brewery. I want to connect that to the city. But today's episode, we're going to be devoting to this area. I'm going to bring you guys in when I can. I'm just going to be sitting, chilling, relaxing, watching some Hermitcraft episodes from, from the other players on the server. And, uh, and just chilling about, grinding, removing. Because, I mean, look at this. Like, what we need to do? We're going to be moving hills. Mountains, even. Well, not really. Like a little elevation. That, all that needs to be removed. And then we need to carve out... Oh no, we need to carve out underneath here as well. I... Uh, ay, 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 caramba. We did it! Uh, okay, hold there for a second, okay? I know what you're thinking. It's a little bit rough. I even made a lamp. I'm so proud of myself. I never do lamps, but today I've made a lamp. So now we have... We have stage one. This is stage one, clearing the land. And now we have an empty canvas to paint on. Like happy trees, happy accident... It's gonna become a thing, okay? So, uh, my, my main idea here is, as you can see, on that side, we do have this little, like, round shape. So, I was thinking we're gonna have a round shape around here, and it's gonna be following that shape somewhere over here. And as you can see, those little stairs going down over here, I know it doesn't look like stairs, but 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 envision. This is where we're gonna have a little like boat lift uh, scenario because I did kind of like promise you guys. Well, I didn't really promise, but I say we're gonna have a boat lift, kind of lift down yachts and whatnot into the water. So I guess the car's gonna be backing down with the little trailers, and then the boat goes in, and a crane picks them up or something. I don't know how it operates. I don't even own a boat. And uh, and here, here as we have this area. I'm not really sure what to do because this is where I kind of felt like we're going to have a boat lifty, but I don't think it's going to work out. So maybe what we could do here is some type of a parking lot. I know I, it might not be great, but, but please envision. So I think what we're going to do now, next step, step number two, we need to have some infrastructure. So obviously that's going to be a ramp going down. It's a waterfall. And then we're going to have a little road going down over here, for example, into the parking lot. And vision. And vision. I love my lamp. And um, the thing about, okay, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And uh, today we're going to get shortcuts. Uh, this road was supposed to go all the way across. And then we have trains and a little train station. No time. Okay, no time. It's a rail. It's a beautiful rail. This is here to stay, I guess. But I was thinking that this road over here, this little uh, passage. Okay, I need to kind of... Not pretty. We're going to fix that, okay? We're going to fix that. Um, that's going to be going down, bending like Beckham a little bit and going down somewhere over here. And then, then, then this road over here is going to be going and connecting somewhere to that road. I, I mean... I got a, I got a thing in my face, in my brain. 
I, like I, I, I see this in front of me and I think it's gonna look really nice. And I think once that is completed, then we can start adding little bits and pieces, detail work and whatnot. Don't, don't listen to me. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna do this infrastructure bit. And I'm gonna show you my vision. Hey, Beef! Beef! Huh? Oh, yeah? What is this all about? Beef! Hi, neighbor! Oh, no, he ain't my neighbor anymore. I bought this place. Oh. You did buy this place, but Etho owns the courtyard, and I decided to rent from Etho. I mean, I can't go super far away from this wonderful build, oh. so hey, why not live in the courtyard for a measly one diamond a week, and then I could have a wonderful neighbor? Are you kidding me? You know how much I offered beef, uh, Etho? I think I offered him like 28 diamond blocks for the courtyard. <laughs> 28 oh, wow. diamond blocks! I mean, he really loves this courtyard, so I don't blame him for turning you down. And then I love this courtyard. Oh, it's so relaxing here. I could just sit I and just can't look believe at everything. And you moved everything out. I, like, you, you know my plans. My plan, my plans was to make this very flat and a beautiful area. Yeah. Filled with concrete and a beautiful runway going through the place. Yeah. This is not gonna cut it, beef. This is no. not gonna cut it. No, it probably won't, huh? <sighs> like. Are you Canadians, you can't be trusted. You seem all nice. <laughs> what you, but we, that, we are nice. We are nice just, Canadians. That is just shallow, shallow niceness, niceness and, and well, kindness. Welcome I to guess. my home. Did you uh, did you did you wipe your feet before you came in? Oh, you didn't even come in. I thought you were already. In. Uh, no, no, no. You know what? I'm gonna go inside. I will. I will check. Yeah, come, I, come. I, you know what? I can't believe you took your effort to move everything a few blocks <laughs> this way. Please take off your shoes. Oh, Canadian customs, right? Yeah, no, no, yes, there we go. Canadian perfect. Customs. I mean, I'm wearing you mine. Shoes I'll take off mine. Okay. <laughs> Quiet. You didn't see nothing. Um, yeah, so this is it. Look how comfortable and cozy everything looks. I mean, I managed to fit every little bit of furniture in here. Uh, I'm in disbelief. You moved everything out here, over here. Like yeah, literally yeah. everything. I, I was uh -huh. checking some chests. You even took all the items. And, and not to talk about that. Like, I, I get the holes. I'm fine with the holes because every, obviously I would level this to the ground. But there's mm -hmm. holes in the floor. Yeah, the furniture. I mean, it's buyer beware, right? You got to do your due diligence when you buy homes. The, the furniture was hiding some some imperfections. Well, I can see that. <laughs> there's even a piano in the fountain. There is. I really didn't have much of a place for it. I had, to, I had to put it somewhere. So on the fountain it went. It looks great up here, though. How much you, how much you want to move all this stuff away from here? Away from there? I mean... If you want me, I, I, I'd be willing to buy back the Hacienda if that's something you're interested in. Well, it kind of shattered my plans for a runway in the airport, yeah, I it, guess. It, I mean, that uh, doesn't really make any yeah. sense at all. Um, no. I, 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 yeah, I would want 82 diamond blocks for the Hacienda. 82 diamond blocks, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's all yours Here's all Here's yours. what I'm thinking. Here's mm -hmm. what I'm thinking. 78 diamond blocks. How much did I how much did I give you for it? 80, 80, 80 81. 81. I tell you what. If we can settle this 79. 7, 8, 80. 80. 80 I, diamond blocks? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So so one less than I than I sold it to you for? Yeah, that's a bargain. I mean, have you seen this place? Come on inside, beef. Come on inside. Okay, sure, I'll take a tour. Beautiful storage, beautiful it flooring. Is, yeah. uh, we uh -huh. do have this. This could be like a dining room, uh, if yeah, so it wanted. Could be. Yeah. Yes. By the way, yeah. you see your beautiful piano on top of the fountain. This could I be. Do. I have a lovely piano room, for example. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. You're absolutely mm -hmm. like, right. Like I mean, it's just a perfect spot for it. We have a library over here. In this uh -huh. far end, we could have like a living room, maybe. It looks we, like a perfect uh, spot for a living room. I know, right? And then we have obviously a kitchen, which is which is. Uh, Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of perfect, I guess. Uh, I we do have so. a little imperfection over here. I'm not sure what what's yeah. this is all about. Um, yeah, I think I think yeah. a grandfather clock would look great here. Oh, you just nailed that! And over yeah. here we could have like a dining table, like a kitchen table, maybe. Okay, okay, or something. Okay, like eighty diamond blocks, and I will would be willing to part with it. Eighty diamond blocks, mm -hmm. done deal, done deal. The question is, the question is, are you going to be moving back all the stuff from the, from the, from the... Of course! <laughs> <laughs> of course! 80 diamond blocks. Oh, let me just get up here. Oh, there we go. How much? Uh, 64 plus 16. That is just 79! No, no, it's not. That's I'm 80. Just kidding. Do this. 
Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Beef, I'm I'm so happy. I'm gonna I'm gonna unlock this place for you. Uh, there we go. Uh, oh, mi casa su casa. So come on in. Wow. Come on in. Can we maybe share custody of this hacienda a little bit? No, not gonna happen. I, I think it's all mine now. I kind of grown, grown fond of it. Like I love. I know it's a great uh, place. I mean, it is. Somebody, somebody should have bought it for like eighty-one diamond blocks and held on to it and lived here and stuff. Well, I had two pesky neighbors, uh, yeah. both Canadians. Also. Seem nice, <laughs> both ain't <Canadians>. nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a pleasure doing business for it with you. Uh, I mean, I, I I totally appreciate it. I just made a diamond block. Fantastic. All it took was a couple weeks and a lot of um, moving. I love you, Beef. See ya. I love bye you bye. too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi. How you doing? Um, I'm Kiralis. Kiralis Groot. <laughs> is that what he's called? A little like tree guy from Guardians of the Galaxy. I think it is. Adorable. It's a floating Omega tree. And by the way, am I sad? Yeah, yeah. We lost the end, okay? But we did recover 80 diamond blocks. And you got to think about this. Like we couldn't get rid of one pesky Canadian. Getting rid of two pesky Canadians would be impossible. So, nah, not sad. Anyhow, this is the next day. Yesterday, I worked the whole day to get like a good layout and infrastructure. And this is not perfect, but I'm really happy with all the shapes. Like we got like uh, wheelchair accessibility ramps over here. We do have staircases. <gasps> I missed a block. OCD, I'm gonna fix that, okay? And then we have this little ramp there going down to, to the lift, which we're gonna have here on rails with like anvils and whatnot. Like, it's not perfect, but I'm really loving the shapes. Like, let me just, uh, let me just fly up so you can see this from, from, from the sky, because this is where we're gonna see it. Oh yeah, I, I'm loving the shapes, like this curvature, like all the curves over here. Curves are beautiful, like this, this definitely got tons of curves. Oh, yes. So, yeah, the main idea, as I said over here, uh, not perfect, definitely not perfect, but uh, imagine I'm a trailer with, with a boat. No, I'm a, I'm a truck with a trailer and a boat. I'm going to be reversing in like a saw. Into the water I go. Uh, okay, the truck, truck, truck. I'm the, I'm the truck. And then we stop over here. And then the, the lift thing is going to lift up the boat. I will drive away and then it's gonna drop the boat into the water again is that how it operates i don't know i, th I think it is at least um so that is that plan over here and um, trees and bushes trees and bushes and as you can see here we do have tons of parking spaces i mean just for people kind of enjoying the marina and the surroundings i guess and you know what i think i think the little like drop down on the elevated road over here is is actually not bad at all because we got to think about this i love the shape by the way how it kind of connects over here because if that elevated road would go be going all the way across here i'm alive if that uh, if that elevated road would be going all the way across over here it would be blocking the view of the brewery and we're gonna have an avenue here so i mean as we did over here i think that's gonna be great and I guess we're gonna have like a statue over here. We're gonna have railings and lamps and we're gonna make this beautiful. And underneath here, it's a mob trap. I haven't really spawn proof or spawn proof this at all. <laughs> I love it. Oh, get away, Kralis. So what I will do now, I will start. Let me just land on my beautiful lamp over here. I will start this area over here. I'm gonna get the, the crane up and running, some bush and bushes and trees, fix that block, obviously. And I have great plans for this over here. We'll see, okay? Let's let's do this. Let's grind it out. I'm a man on a mission. Mission on a man. No, that sounds bad. I'm a man on a mission. BRBs. Lift me up, Scotty. Sweet faces. We got a boat lift. Crane. I'm not sure what you're gonna call it. Like... It looks pretty darn majestical and like whenever I need some inspiration, like sometimes I just get stuck in my face, like inside of my brain and uh, and I'm like, what to do? I just go on my server. Links in the description. Check it out. You will get tons of inspiration. So sweet faces, we've got this boat lift and I think like judging from the size, it might be a little bit oversized, but as, as it's not the size that matters. No, it actually is not. I think it just looks absolutely phenomenal. And 
especially like obviously it's not gonna work for those i guess but then again like so those mast boats i guess you can unload the mast and it, yeah i guess it could be possible right but it's mostly for those like yachts without the masts i guess so the, as i said like the the, the truck kind of backs up with the trailer like beep 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 and then and then i guess you get those like wires or ropes and 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 the truck goes away and the boat goes into the water that i think is how it works i also made bushes and bushes and more bushes and even more bushes it's coming along and i love this like i would hate ending a season not completing this area and we're doing it we're definitely doing it and now i have a crazy idea okay so first i was i was afraid I was petrified. No, I wasn't. But first I was thinking, like, we're going to have tons of restaurants over here and whatnot. But, but I'd rather have, like, a statue or maybe a bush over here and, and such. Because there's not much space here. Uh, yeah, so what I will do, I will, I think, use this space. Instead of having, like, bushes, we're going to have restaurants over here. Uh, one or two over here, for example. And here okay hear me out hear me out this is this is this is a crazy idea but i i have this idea and i will do it like this is the main shopping street in the city i know this might be very pointless to listen to right but 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 you know this is this is my little baby over here but this is this is the main shopping street so everything is about perspectives oh little docky and docky hello um so everything's about perspectives right so i was thinking maybe Centering, you hear the mob farm underneath? I <laughs> love it. Uh, centering a big structure, like just in the middle, okay? So we kind of go up the shopping street and then we have this huge structure. It might be, what type of structure? What I was thinking is that we will add the Eye of Kuralis, a humongous Ferris wheel. It's going to be built. I will... I will I will make sure of that, okay? So that is something I will there it is. Something I will focus on now is huge Ferris wheel, get some shoppies, restaurants, more bushes, decoration. You know what? It's gonna take some time. But I think I really think no, don't do it, Gras. Mayday, mayday, we're sinking. <laughs> Hello, this is a German Coast Guard. Was was are you thinking about? I'm so sorry. I do this every time. Every single time. I can't help myself. So um, let me do it. I think, I think what we will do, we will create magic over here. I think that is going to look really, really snazzy. So uh, once again, sweet faces, BRBs. I'm going to be tinkering about for hours and hours. But stuff will happen. And stuff has happened. And hands down, I am so, 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 so happy how it turned out. It looks absolutely phenomenal. But I'm just here chilling with my boys, eating some hot dogs. And this is actually the the next day again. So by the end of this like 30 minute episode, I would be having recorded this for a month. But uh, no regrets. No regrets at all. And also, I fixed it. I know people have been having OCD over the hole in the in the overpassage outside the fire station and it is fixed. It connects all the way and we have a fencing. This is not what I had envisioned for the area. Can I blame budget cuts? Oh, oh, the union is back. What a coincidence. So yeah, we have a fence, we have a road and what I had envisioned for this area before budget cuts that we would have like a huge workshop with tow trucks and such but yeah it might not happen so before before i show you the ferris wheel let's have a little sneak peek uh, shall we oh selfie 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 let me just perfect <laughs> love it okay little sneak peek okay can we see the ferris wheel yes we can oh like it is ginormous and it looks it looks awesome what's your finger Ian? does it look amazing it looks amazing so um before we go over there let's have some fun i've been building for three days in in, in a row pretty much so i need some fun in my life so my beautiful neighbor in a quickie town, the CEO of the barge company, Green, has created a mini game, and I really want to check it out. However, I have not seen this shop yet. Welcome to Orderly's. Don't be a scar, get Orderly. 
That guy is really, really, really mad. You know what? I don't want to kill him, just in case. But how does this operate? Plant stuff. 12 diamonds, light work. 54, wool pool, wood pile. I kind of would get the wood pile, I guess. Flower, do we have any bushes? No bushes. Let me just see the wood pile. How does it look? Not bad, but how much? 40 diamonds. How about plant stuff? There's some bushes. But, but not enough. Light work? What is that? Ooh. This is not bad, but that guy is so, so, so mad. Anyhow, so, hello and welcome to the HCBBS, Hermitcraft Big Bar Sweep. The game is explained when you play, play 16 diamonds in the chest below and grab a minecart. Then read the technical signs on the right. Perfect. Place your minecart and enter it. Play the disc and enjoy. Okay, so let me just get 16 diamonds like a soul. Let me just get a minecart like a soul and tick list rebind crouch do not shift okay apply the resource pack check discord for information on audio levels hold this in your hand while playing to prevent block placements okay. let's get that in my hand uh place a minecart here if block is up then the disc is still in the jukebox here we go so i did rebind the key i did apply the resource pack and i did check the audio levels so Let's go. I'm all excited and I just can't hide it. So place the minecart here. If block is up, then the disc is still in the jukebox. Okay, so that means, let me just hold, I guess, this. That is the disc which goes into this. Welcome to the HC BBS, the Hermitcraft Big Barge Sweep. Your task <laughs> is simple. Open shulker boxes and grab items. Here's the shulker box coming up now. See if you can open it. This. Oh dear, it's empty. The ones coming up, though, won't be. Your task is to grab as many items as possible. But here's the catch. You have extremely limited time. Don't dawdle and make sure you look around. Looks like you're about to begin. Good luck. This is... Oh, pop, 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 get, get some stuff, get some stuff. Cobweb. I need a cobweb in my life. Do I? No, I don't anymore. Um... Oh. I'm just getting crap. Like, have I said that Green is a genius? I mean... This is incredible! Oh, oh. Oh, ah. oh. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold this in my hand. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad. This. <laughs> this is so good! Oh, no, no, missed it! Dang it! Okay, I'm so cool. Oh, there it is. Okay, not the best of goodies, I guess. But it is what it is. is great there's one oh shoot. oh there's one okay oh okay i'm panic grabbing stuff green what oh poultry man is this the hippie thingy rv oh dang it i bet that was a good one there's one over here you get some stuff just crap pretty much Green! I love this! Man, this was so cool! What did we get? We got a stack of emeralds, some wither skeleton skulls... Not the greatest uh, catch of them all. This is too good! Get some... Uh, 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 crap. There's one. Got that. There's one. Got that. Why, why are we so slow? Oh, you can flip switches! Oh, so that means now I go this way. Oh, this is... Okay, maybe not the greatest. Okay, we kind of missed the whole thing over there, but doesn't really matter. I want to press levers. I want to see if we can press any levers. Uh, what was this over here? Dang it. Low value. I'm grabbing everything I can. Oh, see, this is what I mean. It just goes by so fast. And I kind of want to just enjoy the ride as well, but there's just no time to enjoy the ride because you just keep spamming buttons. Oh! Okay, focus, girls. Focus. Oh, okay, there's one over here. Get some stuff. There's one over here. D dang it! Dang it! It's too fast, girls. Oh, low value again. Low carrots. I don't need any carrots, but I take them. The switches. Okay, so I think I flipped that for the next round. So that is flipped. So I'm not gonna touch that. That is flipped for the next round. That is empty. 
this with the roses. I guess we can get some of those. Flip that switch, girls. Flip that. So for the next round, that should be flipped as well. Flip this one. For the next round, that will be flipped. And then we go through the, through the RV, right? Okay, there's a switch over here. Flip that. Flip that. Perfect. So I guess the next round, that will take us another round. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, too fast, too fast. Okay, I think this was a mixed value. Uh, let's get some stuff. Good luck. Dang. Yes, 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 we flipped it. What is in here? Oh, the barge, the baby barge. Ooh, oh, no. See, this is what I mean. It's just so fast. But we uncovered the baby barge. I need to go once more, okay? Okay, and then we go in. Okay, this is, this is the important one. This is the important one. Don't mess this up, girls. Dang it, you can't grab it. Can you grab it? Hope. Woo! Medium value one. Hopefully you can grab that one. This one, this one. Oh, this is impo impossible because of the grass. Okay, my main objective is what's in the poultry box. Nothing exciting in that one. This one, this one. Dang it, missed it again. How am I so bad at this? I'm not bad. I'm terrible. Please, Kiraz, don't mess this up. Please don't mess this up. Ooh, need to time that so perfectly. Oh, there's one as well. Okay, this one. God, ooh, that was actually not a bad, I think. Uh, get everything in this one. And the end. Oh. Good luck. Flipped it. It goes in here. Perfect. Oh, there's a box over here. I missed that. It was a high value one. Oh, no, I think I threw out the bumble face. No, I've got the mamboni face. Okay. So there is a high value. Oh, there was that one. Okay, where's back? Where is front? There is the one over here. Got it. Got the dragon face. Got the dragon face. I repeat. Okay, this. this okay. This is the one I want to see. This is the one I want to see the most. Okay, be ready. Oh! Okay, it is, it is, I guess, what it is. Got some TNT. There was a bomb. Oh no, I broke it. Sorry. <sighs> I have just wasted so many diamonds over here. Like, like a lot of diamonds. Uh, but I had, like, green. This. This was incredible, like what a genius thing to do. Like I just love stuff like this. This was great. Uh, also, I did get this half price on an HCBBS ride. So that is something we'll use maybe in the next episode. I will come back. But just to kind of kind of show you what we acquired. Ooh, scary, scary and very Larry. What we acquired throughout those rides. Well, it's nothing really phenomenal, but we've got a lot of stuff. And I'm going to leave this here for you guys to kind of go through. Uh, I guess the most valuable thing was the was the Aquiki Town plot. I believe it was. <laughs> There's so much. Even got a dragon head. Okay, let's get that great uh, die and put that back into the into the system. I guess uh, diamonds. I take those with me. You're not getting those. But I think there was like a Aquiki Town plot somewhere about. Dang it! I can't find it. But believe me, there was like a like a free Aquiki Town plot somewhere about. Uh, anyhow, you know what? I just had such a blast. Like, great. And I've said you're a genius. This, this was this was really cool. Like, I wish kind of it was. I wish it was a little bit slower, just to kind of embrace all the like lore and all the like Easter eggs down there. But uh, this was this was great fun. I I loved it. Have I said that everything is about perspectives? At least like in my face. When I start building or planning to build something, I think out of like a perspective view. And, and this over here, I love it. Like it might not be much to some, but for me, you can almost like feel the, like the, the ambience, the atmosphere, like the buzzing, like all, can you just imagine like if this was a real scenario, like all the people, the traffic, you can just, I don't know, you can just smell it. It is it, it, it's huge. The Eye of Kiralis. First and foremost, a huge shout out to Nico and Pixel Ninja from the World of Kiralis server because they, their faces are phenomenal. Let me just show, like, look at this. Look at the size of this. And by the way, let me just show you this street view. Okay, it might be a little bit framey here because there's a lot of stuff over here. It's 
It's phenomenal. It's breathtaking. No, you guys are breathtaking. But just, you know, just, just imagine that kind of rolling down a uh, tango. You like it? You like perfect. Just rolling down the shopping street and then just this in the far end. I mean, yeah. And uh, there's approximately 1400 cobwebs in this creation. And uh, will I do this again? No. Never. You have no idea how many times I got stuck in those cobwebs, but uh, was it worth the while? You guys will have to decide. I, I, I really like this. I don't know. It just kind of frames the marina and maybe not what I exactly had in mind for the, for the marina with the restaurants, but uh, budget cuts. Nah, this is amazing. There's a lot of stuff, badness underneath over here. We have like little like bars uh, or like restaurants. We have tons of tables. This is, I guess, COVID times because nobody's over here at this stage, but yeah, this is, this, I, I don't know. It's perspectives, you know, like just having the, the lush trees in the distance, just sitting, relaxing and just having a good time, I guess. This is framey. Yes, yeah, about 20 FPS over here for me <laughs> with the shaders. I, no, I love this. And this, I wish this could spin. Can you just imagine how cool that would look? Oh, man. So, let me just fly up. Let me just show you this from, 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 from there. You guys would have to decide what you think about it. I, I myself, I am super happy how this turned out. We will have a statue on that little like thing over here, but for the moment, uh, this will just have to do because I'm just, this is <laughs> three days of placing blocks. And it's, I don't know, did we play? We placed tons, thousands and thousands upon thousands of blocks. Yeah, I like this, not to get stuck in the cobweb curls. I, I, I love this. Even the crane kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of frames this nicely. I mean, just look at perspectives. Might not be the best perspective, but it's a perspective nevertheless. Do we love it? We love it. Okay, enough, enough of just looking at this. I have actually not seen this in, in, with the shaders mod. So this is kind of like the first time for me just seeing this. So I'm kind of like, yay. <laughs> and I love it. So anyhow, sweet faces. I know, I know, I know. Uh, this has been maybe not the most exciting episode, you know, because of a lot of building and stuff, but I loved it. So uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode of Hermit's Craft, which might, might be the last one. Might be the last one. And as promised... We will have a beautiful park over here, an avenue leading up to the to, to Shashwami's Brewery. And that's going to be maybe a wrap. I don't even know. We will see. But I am over the moon happy that this is done. This is done. We started with nothing in today's episode. And we've made a thing. We definitely made a thing. Sweet faces, all I can say is good luck in the giveaway. Leave a like. Uh, leave some feedback. And... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this looks really, really nice. But uh, I am Kuralis, and this has been Hermitcraft episode 65, I believe. So see you guys in episode 66 in a few days. And I would like to wish you a fantastic day. Bye, everybody.